Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll help you understand how a Docker file is written, what each command means and how we can use a Docker file to create a Docker image then how we can use that docker image to create a docker container inside which an application will be running and then how we can access the application on our chrome browser so for this i'll be using a sample docker file and a sample application which you can also access through the link in the description okay so everything i'll show step by step so make sure to follow the whole video and if you find the video useful then make sure to give it a like and if you are new on my channel then give it a subscribe so with that being said let's get started okay so this is the repository which we'll be using for, for demonstration now coming to the point why exactly docker is required and how exactly it is very useful okay so before that let me tell you like uh, when we are building a java based application using maven the main point is that it generates a artifact in the form of jar or var and what exactly is the jar or var that is the main application executable application that we can execute and run it okay now the main thing is that uh, when you have a repository or a proper project file you have a pom file okay and that pom file contains dependencies that are required for the application to build properly okay so when we are generating if building the application and generating the jar file jar file is a package package application that has all the dependencies along with the application thing okay so it's like one time it packaged with the dependencies now let's say that we want to share the application to another person so we can share the jar file but they cannot directly execute or run the jar file because that application was built on a specific platform on a specific jdk version that application was accessible on a specific port okay so if you are sharing the jar file to other person if they want to run the application then first of all they need to make the same setup on which the application was built so that they can also build the application and this is the problem that occurred okay to solve this problem docker is like useful so what exactly is happening with docker so with docker we are packaging the jar file once again or you can say we are packaging the application one time, one more time but this time we are packaging the uh, jar file or the application with prerequisites like specific jdk version specific platform like linux on which it is built then specific ports on which the application will be accessible and uh, a initial command to run the application these are the four or five things that are being packaged with the jar file and this after like the, after this packaging we get a docker image so basically if you uh, try to understand in simple words two times we are doing packaging of the application first time we are packaging the application with dependencies and that is like the jar file and then one more time we are packaging the jar file with the prerequisites like the base image like linux a specific jdk version then uh, specific commands that need, that should run to uh, execute the application specific port on on which application will be accessible so after two time packaging the, the the product that we are getting is the like a docker image and that docker image can be shared to other person and in in that in that case the other person does not need to do any specific setup other than uh, like docker so that makes very easier for the application to become portable and to be shared among other users so this is the main problem that docker is solving here and that is what i am going to show you how exactly we can write a docker file and how exactly uh, we can build a docker image using docker file okay okay so first of all what i have done i have just cloned this specific repository this one the link for this repository will be in the description so that if you want you can also use it i have cloned this uh, repository on my uh, vm and what i will do now i will build this uh, repository uh, application to generate the jar file okay so for that what i will run i will run maven clean package and just run it so let's see how much time does it take okay so build is success now let me clear the screen run ls command if you see there is a new folder generated known as target if i go inside target folder this is the place where our artifacts of the jar file exist 
we can see in red color docker java dash app dash example dot jar file this is the jar file that we are going to use okay also if i go back and ls there is a docker file also okay let me just cut this and these are the contents of the docker file okay now what i will do i will explain to you what exactly this uh, commands mean and how exactly it is packaging our application okay so same this commands i have copied on my visual studio code okay now if you see what i will do uh, let me just divide this docker file in certain parts this is the first part okay so basically in three parts i have divided okay see and also if you see closely you will see the first word of every line is in capitals and is in like a specific color okay avoid color no need for that okay so it is in capital and this is basically a specific command that docker understands okay there are multiple commands and each command has a specific purpose okay now if you see the first line which says from open jdk 8 dash jre dash alpine okay this is properly pro uh, probably the common in like almost uh, different docker images this first this part from it will be same it can be different like different images they, it could be used but first will be a from what it does it basically tells that which base image should be used on which our application should be running so here what i am defining here that specific jdk 8 is being used and this alpine machine is used okay why we are using because the size of this thing is very small so we are using this so this makes this make sure that we are having a specific like linux machine with open jdk 8 installed on it because that is what is required to run the application so first line is always from then specific base image name which which is supposed to be used to run the application okay next part we have several commands that are like uh, uh, to perform different tasks okay so first we have run run is like a specific command that is used to perform uh, any like shell commands or any other commands that you want to run when your uh, container from a docker image is being created okay so here what i am doing here just updating the machine okay updating the packages inside it then adding a bash adding a shell so shell is supposed to be used so i am using bash here then we have the uh, next command which is work dir basically it's it is it's for work directory okay so we are creating a specific directory inside which our application will be kept and from there we will be running it okay so it is like creating an a uh, folder named app next is like as i said the main jar file is the main application okay packaged application with dependencies and it as i showed you previously it existed inside target folder so what we are doing we are copying this copying this inside our working directory that we created here okay we are copying the jar file finally we are exposing a specific port this this is like copy command okay next we have expose so expose is a like command that tells on which port the application will be accessible on browser or out, uh, for outside world okay and finally if you know already in the beginning of the thing i said that to run a jar file what command is used java hyphen jar then the file dot jar or whatever the name is this is the basic command to execute a uh, jar file okay same thing in the third part that we are doing cmd is a command okay that is used to execute the specific mention command as soon as container starts and this as soon as this uh, command will run the application will start running okay so this is the simplest uh, docker file that you can see or that you can like use so this docker file we are going to use first and you can see what it does first of all it will create a base image it will uh, get a base image on which our application will be running then it will update it and add bash then it will create a specific folder inside which our application will be kept jar file will be kept then we will copy our jar file and uh, copy our jar file inside the app folder then we will expose the uh, expose the port on which application will be accessible on a browser and finally we will execute the jar file okay 
this is the simplest thing that we are going to do now what i am going to do now i am going to uh, build this uh, what is it build this uh, uh, docker file okay so docker file is here only so i will run the command as docker build fnt and name maybe something adi this this space let's see what happens yeah i provided dot here because this uh, says the path of the docker file so we are in the same directory as the docker file so i just put a dot and any name you can provide here okay now let's see you can see it has like uh, successfully built and tagged also and you can see uh, the steps so step one of total how many uh, steps we had here 3 to 6 okay total 6 steps we are having so if you see here you can see step 1 of 6 so what it does for now it is pulling the base image okay pulling from library open jdk pulling the base image then running this command like uh, uh, updating the updating it and adding the bash next we have creating a directory and then copying the target uh, this jar file inside that uh, specific folder then we have exposing the atat this one and then finally running this uh, make sure that this is uh, uh, going to be running okay now let me clear the screen if i run this docker images many images should be there yeah so you can see this is the image that it has created size is 107 mb okay okay so we have built the docker image now the only thing that is pending is to run the application okay from the docker image so basically we are going to run the docker image to create a docker container inside which our application will be running okay so for that the command is let me type the command docker run hyphen p p is like we are defining the container and the uh, application port okay or container and host port so that will be 80 colon 80 80 then the name of the image which is dash uh, adi dash dash uh, colon the tag is latest and click enter now we can see the progress here itself okay you can see it is starting to build the application uh, build the uh, container okay so here you can see tomcat started on port 8080 and okay so application is started running to access the application what i will do i will go to my machine copy the uh, this one paste it here colon it is slash docker dash java dash app slash test yeah so you can see this is the main application that we have and it is now up and running and basically it is supposed to give the current date and time which it is giving okay so this is how like you can use docker write a docker file and then use the docker file to create docker image and then create a docker container to run the application and now i hope the video was quite useful for you to understand how docker file docker image docker container works okay now the application is running in case you want to like perform different kind of things inside docker container for that also what we can do if i run this docker images we can see the docker images then to see what container is currently running we can run the command as docker ps and you can see current like uh, this is running it is showing the main command first command that is being run to create uh, to create the container uh, to run the application inside the container okay